cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous, and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Oh, forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold, a safe haven for mages in Skyrim, a place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Ah, the Immortal Plane. It is said to be the source of all magic. This is a noble goal, indeed. It would seem that the College has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the College? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. No, I'm afraid I don't know anything of the sort. Excellent. A standard spell for one skilled in destruction magic is the Firebolt. Casting one at the seal on the ground here would be sufficient. I look forward to it. No matter what, the college will endure. Winterhold's glory days may lie behind it, but the college lives on. knowledge like no well if you think you're capable of it then I'd be happy to provide it to you for a mere 30 gold or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around Skyrim they also sell spells here you are now I'm anxious to see you cast it Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. I can't wait to see who succeeds Mirabelle. I've no doubt she'll be promoted to Archmage at some point. No matter what, the college will endure.
Much knowledge lies within the college's walls. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalmor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the College, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. Welcome to the college. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Wonderful. Please follow me and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. Our newest members are housed here, in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards. Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. just beginning. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, 
The first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Not going to weigh in either way? I admire your restraint. But there are times when you must make decisions, even without all the facts. Rely on instinct. We're all pretty new at this, right? Let's just give it a chance. What's the worst that could happen? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward. And we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? That's all right. I can teach you a very basic ward, one that's enough for the purposes of this lesson. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please. Just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. You have to keep your ward up or else this won't work. I don't want to hurt you. Over there, please. Just opposite me. I wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. Hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthal nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine... It's always an... You know, this is one of a very few places where you can receive a real education in the schools of magic. I think my parents reserved a spot for me here at the college on the day I was born.
College will be here for you no matter what. All right. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. So sure we should be here. You know, there might be gold somewhere in here. the earliest Nord settlements of Skyrim. It was also the largest. Sacked by the elves in the infamous Night of Tears, not much is known about what happened to Sarthor. This is an exciting opportunity for us. Well, are there any questions before we begin? Ah, yes. Hmm. Well, why don't you see if you can assist Arniel Gain? He's one of our scholars, here working on cataloging our finds. I expect he'd appreciate some help in locating any additional magical artifacts here in the ruins. Any enchanted items will do. The usefulness of the enchantment is irrelevant. If you find anything, the class can look it over. Now, let's see. What shall we have the rest of you do? Cesargo, what shall we have you do? Ah. Why don't you verify that we're the first ones here? Don't touch anything! What? Ah, yes. You. I remember you. You're going to help? That's fine, just... just don't make a mess of my work. I've only looked through a portion of this section. You, uh... you can look around in the chambers just north of here. Try and be careful, all right? We don't want to damage anything. Just round up the rest of the magical artifacts so that I can catalog them. Uh-huh. What in the world was that racket? Is everything all right? How in the world did that happen? Really? Perhaps the amulet is important somehow. Is there some way you can use it? Thank you. 
kind of resonance. You and the wall. It must be connected to the anvil. I wonder what effect might your spells have. and very interesting. Why in the world would this be sealed off? What is this place? Yes? Hold, mage, and listen well. Know that you have set in motion a chain of events that cannot be stopped. Judgment has not been passed, as you had no way of knowing. Judgment will be passed on your actions to come, and how you deal with the dangers ahead of you. This warning is passed to you because the Sigic Order believes in you. You, mage, and you alone, have the potential to prevent disaster. Take great care and know that the Order is watching. I... I swear I felt something rather strange just then. What just happened? I'm afraid I didn't see anything. Can you tell me more about what you saw? The Sigic Order? Are you quite sure about that? That's very odd. And danger ahead? Why, that doesn't make any sense at all. The Sigics have no connection to these ruins, and no one's seen any of their order in a long time. Perhaps we should take a look inside these coffins. Now, please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? They were a group of mages with a history that predates the Empire. Very powerful, very secretive. No one's seen them in well over a hundred years. They vanished, along with their sanctuary on the Isle of Arteum. I have no idea what connection they'd have to this place. Mm-hmm. Defend yourself. This is simply fascinating. Be prepared to defend yourself. Prepared to defend yourself. Be prepared to defend yourself. I've never seen anything like this in Nordic ruins before. Why, just look at all these coffins. This bears closer inspection. 
I'd like to stay a while and examine this. You, however, should press on. See if you can find whatever this vision of yours mentioned. But if it is truly dangerous, be careful. Go on ahead. I'll be sure and catch up with you before long. Be prepared to defend yourself. Until next time.
This is simply fascinating. Well now, would you look at that? I never imagined we'd find something like this. Why is this buried so far within Sarthol? What could this place be? I have no idea, but it's fascinating. Assuming it's true, of course. The Isle of Arteum disappeared over a hundred years ago, and no one has seen them since. And yet now, suddenly, they've chosen to contact you. Why, it's intriguing. If nothing else, I'd take it as a compliment. The Sidgics have only ever dealt with those they feel worthy. Until next time. Thought I heard something. Absolutely amazing. The Archmage needs to be informed immediately. He needs to see this for himself. I don't dare leave this unattended. Can you return to the college and inform Savos Aran of this discovery? Please, hurry. Be prepared to defend yourself.
You are relatively new here, are you not? I have noticed you, but we have not spoken. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Savos Arryn, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the College. Are we clear? Please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has been incinerated. I have enough to deal with right now. I... see. I trust that Tolfdir will provide a more... specific explanation. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Tolfdir normally looks after your little group, yes? Since he's apparently occupied, and I will need to see this discovery for myself, I think perhaps you should begin researching the subject. Speak with Urog in the Arcanium. See if he's aware of anything that matches your discovery. And good work. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, perhaps this will be helpful. Not often, no. Some risks must be taken, to be sure. I am simply trying to avoid untimely deaths. We also must make an effort to avoid worsening what Skyrim thinks of us. Personally? No, not I. One of their number used to advise the Archmage when I was but an apprentice here. But that was a great many years ago, before all the members of the Order were called back to the Isle of Arteum, and it disappeared entirely. Now if you'll excuse me, 